past is not what it seems. You must find the truth. Go north across the enchanted lands and into the unknown. But be careful. We have always feared Elsa's powers were too much for this world. We must hope. They are enough. I won't let anything happen to her. Valor from our magazine means value in English. So I recognize from your quote, love is stronger than fear, yes. has such a big value, love. And I recognized in Frozen 1 or 2, um, the love, um, love, friendship, trust is such a big topic. And so my question is to you, what do you think is the most important value in Frozen 2? I, I think those core values in Frozen 1 are also expressed in Frozen 2, uh, yes. probably even, even more important in the movie. Yes. Uh, that idea of family bond um, mm -hmm. uh, is important. Even as you grow up and mature, it is the family that gives you that strong foundation uh, uh, and that love, no matter how much people change and grow, uh, that, that part doesn't change. The second part I recognize is this, the, na the nature is such a huge point and um, as a traveler by myself, um, I recognized you picked out the cold parts of the world and um, I'm really glad that you choose it um, to show it's beautiful too, yes, not only yeah. the beach in <laughs> sure, summer. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, so you told us about the research and now I want to know what's the biggest point you thought, oh, that has to be in Frozen 2. Uh, there's so many things we learned in that research trip. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the, that, the, the black sand beaches of Iceland yes. um, made a big impression to us. The power of the, the waves and ocean and how powerful nature is and how, as a human, you can feel dwarfed. Even Elsa, with her, her incredible power, is actually dwarfed by the power of nature. Uh, that was a big takeaway. Yes. Uh, the fairy tale... Uh, walking through the forests of Norway and Finland, you could feel all the stories and the myths and mythologies um, that we've read about. Um, you could feel them, the, the why those stories happen, because yes. you could feel it uh, walking those lands. Is it your intention to show the people, hey, let's go explore the world, we have such a great nature, our world has so many mysteries or uh, surprises. Do you want to show the viewers, to the kids, the adults, the parents, hey, let it go and go out and uh, explore the world. Do you want to show that the kids, that they um, see, no, I have my home, but also the world to see? Do you want to um, send a message to them in the young years? I think it was important for our characters to, and, and for all of us to remember, uh, that venturing into the unknown, which is one of the songs in the movie, it, sometimes you have something inside you that you want to do or, or need to do and, and you, it can be frightening because it might mean uh, going on a trip somewhere you've never been before. It might be moving across the country to go to college, whatever it is. Um, uh, it is a little bit scary, but it's, that's okay. That's part of the adventure and to have the courage to actually uh, follow your instincts and to follow your dreams uh, is an important part. So everyone loves Hans. I I also, he's so interesting. So what do you think makes him so um, interesting and we want to uh, know more about him? What do you think makes it the little intense on his, on his character? Well, Hans is, um, uh, in the traditional sense, is the classic fairy tale prince. You know, yes. he, uh, in the first movie, that's how we set him up. Uh, he seems the prince charming. He dances well. He he almost mirrors uh, Anna's every move. So she sees himself uh, in him. Uh, but ultimately, he is a villain. Ultimately, he had uh, the wrong intentions. Um, he he everything was about him. He was. Uh, uh, 
you know, he tried to kill Elsa. He, he tried to kill Anna. Uh, so ultimately, at his core, he was not a good person. Thank you. So now I have a question. Can you please sign this for our readers? We want to oh, uh, make a surprise for them. Sure. Yeah. So at this two, please. Yes. So I made it. I met Peter Del Rico, the producer from Frozen 2. And I had a little bit sneaky peek, so I made it first, but you guys will see it. And yes, he was so kind, so friendly, so down to earth, and he's such a great man. I really like him, maybe I see him twice again. But yes, I made it. <laughs> Far away, as north as we can go, once stood an enchanted forest. You see an enchanted forest? Yes. It was a magical place, but something went wrong. Since then, no one can get in or out. Wow, Papa, that was epic. What would I do without you? You'll always have me. Has Elsa seemed weird to you? She seems like Elsa. There's this voice. Voice? What does that mean? not safe. Find who is calling to you. They may have answers. I'm going with you. Anna? No. Excuse me, I climbed the North Mountain, survived a frozen heart, and saved you from my ex-boyfriend, so, you know, I'm coming. That's normal. Where are we? How did you get in the forest? The mist parted for us. Impossible. Where did you learn magic? Elsa, get out of there! You can't just follow me into fire. Then don't run into fire. Magic is very alluring. Without you, she may lose herself to it. Protect Arendelle at all costs. I believe in you, Elsa, more than anyone or anything. Quick question. Is the whole putting us in mortal danger gonna be a regular thing? 